Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Vallejo's new metal color range. Um, and this new metal color range is um, acrylic based. Um, they cost about the five pounds mark. Um, and what's good about this is, as I've already stated, they are acrylic based. Now, when it comes to natural metal finishes, um, Yes, you do have acrylic um, natural metal finish colors in all sorts of ranges, but when it comes down to it, um, you want stuff like um, lacquer based um, paints like our Alclads 2, for example. Um, there is the Mr. Um, Mr. Metal range by um, um, Mr. Hobby there. They also do some nice buffable um, natural metal finishes. Um, but we haven't really had a proper good contender for those type of, you know, toxic, smelly, lacquer-based paints. Um, but we haven't had a contender in acrylic form, and this may just be the answer. Um, now, when it comes to doing natural metal finishes, you want, um, like, a black primer. You don't have to. There are other ways of doing it for different kind of styles and stuff. But black is potentially the, the the primer of choice, and you want it to be glossy. You do get a difference in how our natural metal finish paints turn out depending on your primer and whether it's a glossy or matte surface. So um, to get a really good, you know, deep um, natural metal finish, black and glossy is always good. And after doing a bit of spraying, so I've done a bit of practicing off camera, um, it does leave us with a pretty, um, shall we say, nice, smooth, good primed surface ready um, for our metal colors here. As you can see, it's a little bit silver because I've been playing around on the underside, um, which I don't want to show you yet. I want to show you these paints. Um, there is also, they do like um, the, the metal varnish as well, which is also really good to lock these in, um, which as you'll see down the road, that it is something that you essentially need to do. Um, looking at these pots of paint, as I say, they're about you know, the five pound mark, depending where you go. I got mine from um, everythingairbrush.com. There is a bigger range of colors than what I have here. There's like, I don't know, about 20 different colors. I just went with just a couple, just to show you for this review. Um, they are, I do believe, was it 80 mils or 60 mil pot? It looks like a 60 mil pot. No, it's not, it's a 32 mil. So 32 mil pots, which is, um, you know, it is good. You can thin them down as well, but they are good to go straight out of the pot. So let's start off um, with, getting a kitchen paper towel down just to protect our surface and we're going to do a little bit of spraying um, now first off i've gone with aluminium which is probably the most um, popular common color we're going to use um, with pretty much any kind of aircrafts um, and this aluminium is rather rather good now you want to give all of this a damn good shake right you want to get everything all off the bottom you can just sort of see um, where it's sort of sedimented at the bottom um, you want to sort of keep shaking it until that's sort of gone and all you can see is basically bubbles right and we can just pretty much pour this straight in with um, Vallejo's nice and easy um, bottles here where we can just pour this in. Right, we don't need much at all. We want to have our PSI about 15, yeah, 10, 15, sort of low-ish. Right, let's check how we're flowing here. We're flowing very good there. And let's start off with our first wing. Right, so we're just going to um, spray this on very... Um, right, you need to spray it on very misty and very light, right? Right. So let's just spray on a first quick coat here. So after that... Um, like Mr. Coat on there. Just going to show you what happens if you put this town down too heavy. We get a bit of a, you know, a nasty, nasty um, orange peel effect. As you can see there, that is really gone very, very orange peely. Do that again. There we go. 
orange peel again you've got to go down really misty at first it does ha definitely help having that black primer on there um, it's really sort of more pronounced going on to like bare plastic so you definitely want to be priming it and you definitely want to be doing light misty coats all right so this has had time to dry now so now we can sort of come back and give this a lighter coat all right remember we don't want to be putting this down wet because it's going to pull up rather nasty on us and as you can see as we're sort of building up the layers this is starting to look like a really good natural metal finish so i'm just going to go all over this now um, to get this all natural metal finished so there we go all finished um, as you can see that is actually surprisingly really good um, if you've used Alclads 2 before, you know, you know, it's a good way of getting a good natural metal finish. Same with like the, the Mist and Metal range, good natural metal finishes, but they are um, acrylic based and everything. To actually get this kind of finish with um, acrylic paints is really amazing. This is sort of um, a bit of a breakthrough, so to speak, when it comes to um, model paints really because i mean you know acrylics are safer than lacquers and everything um this is already dry you know i mean it's i sprayed this maybe 10 minutes ago and it's already nice and touch dry so it is a really good breakthrough to have an acrylic paint um produce this kind of a finish um however i mean it's not quite um sort of ended shall we say all the problems that you get with you know lack of paints um, because um, this is probably not going to work for me on camera but you know when you come along and you want to mask up and spray a panel off or something like that right what happens but it's not going to happen for me on camera typical but basically it does still have that sort of temperamental sort of scratching problem or you can actually you can probably just tell it has sort of taken up a layer you can just see it's sort of taken up um a layer off of um the 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 the, the natural metal finish paint we've got on there so we still do have that problem um probably not as much as shall we say alclads alclads is sort of like you just kind of touch that slightly and it sort of scratches here there and everywhere but we still sort of have that problem but what they've gone off and done has given us this metal varnish um, now i would recommend as soon as you've sprayed it your natural metal finish come along whack this stuff on and it really does protect it solid nice and rock hard uh, which is actually fantastic because it really does get around that problem so i would recommend sealing it in as soon as you've done it um, and then if i turn this over i can sort of show you a few of the the other colors that have been going on here you know i've used dark um, dark aluminium um, i've used duralinium and you know it does give us the sort of um, where you can um, spray out the different panels and it does they are all good colors so far from what i've used in this paint range um there's potentially i mean there is always like a potential color that could be problematic but from what i can see um these colors are all looking good and you do get a nice finish there and i don't know if you've also noticed this side i have also given a um, a metal varnish coat on top and what normally happens is you do lose a bit of that um, natural metal finish when you come along and put some sort of a varnish on top to protect it but it doesn't seem to you know lose it that much it does sort of lose a tinge a bit i mean you can't really tell 100 um, percent when you're looking at these things on camera but with the naked eye um you do lose a slight bit of the natural metal finish but you get that with pretty much all these natural metal finish paints um, but you do really need to put like a varnish on because it does scratch like mad so overall conclusion um well it's sort of like personal choice really i mean i am just still liking the alclads 2 paints that's probably because i'm just used to them um, but at the end of the day when it comes down to the results Alclads 2, 
um, and these metal colors by um, Vallejo uh, you know the end results are pretty much the same only you've got these beneficial the benefits of using acrylic paints which is safer to well you don't want to be breathing in any paints really but you know if you had a choice between breathing in acrylics and, and lacquers you'd pick um, acrylics every time so yeah well recommended product I like them um, and I'm gonna finish off this model here you know and see how that looks because it does look really good so until next time my name is Bobby Waldron this is Genesis Models and I hope you've enjoyed <laughs>